Hi and welcome. This is a quick demonstration of the ticket module in Drupal. So it's Drupal 7. This is the 7.x um, alpha 4 version. We're currently working um, on some outstanding functionality. Hope to be releasing a beta version soon. For this demo, we're just going to be using a stock Drupal 7 site with the Ticket modules installed. Um, Ticket is also being included in the uh, in COD, the Conference Organizing Distribution. Um, that actually hasn't been released yet, but work is currently going on to integrate it there. As with most Drupal 7 installs, um, you can go to the modules page and Ticket is available there. We can see that I've got all of the Ticket modules enabled. Um, starting on the second row here, Ticket, that's the base Ticket module that you'll want to have installed. After that, we've got Ticket Registration State, so that allows you to track uh, the status of registrations. Along with that, on the first row there is the basic registration states. That provides just some basic pending complete and canceled states, so when users register, um, you can mark their registrations with those. Um, that's a separate module because for your particular installation, you may want some different states. We then have ticket rules, so there is some basic rules integration that allows you to set the registration state um, as a rules action, so when users perform certain actions, um, that will trigger uh, the states to be changed. And then finally we have the ticket user registration and that provides some integration with the user profiles um, and it provides some additional functionality um, that will let you do things like have a single user purchase uh, multiple tickets and then be able to assign those tickets to um, other users on the site. So if I jump into structure, and I'm going to go to content types, I have a really basic event content type. Currently, it has nothing but a title and a body. So in order to begin with ticket, we need to add a ticket field. And then we select ticket type from the field type, and the only widget available is going to be ticket type. Let's say save. And save those settings. We have our normal field settings here for a ticket um, and keep in mind that this is for a ticket type. Um, this is a concept then that can get slightly confusing um, but the the general layout is that an event has can have multiple ticket types. Um, these ticket types in most cases will be things like um, free registration, uh, early bird registration, um, VIP versus uh, standard ticket, um, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and set this to unlimited. So for our particular event, someone who goes and creates an event can create um, an unlimited number of different ticket types. Um, again, for your particular use case, you may want to limit that. So we'll say save settings there. If we go to add content now, so let's create a really basic event. Once we fill in our basic event info, we have a ticket type field. So again, here our ticket types are going to be for things like free registration. The copy user registration fields is part of the user registration submodule. Um, and I don't really don't have any user user fields right now, so I'm going to leave that blank. We can give it a dis description.
you can give it some availability parameters. So particularly dates. Um, if you're using this to do things like um, an early bird discount, you can create an early bird pass and set it available for certain dates. There's a total quantity, and this is the number of tickets that are available. Um, once users register um, that quantity um, and use that number of quantity, it will no longer be available. I'm going to leave this blank for no limit. We have an option for a minimum per order. Um, so in some cases, it's useful to have tickets um, be purchasable um, only in pairs, things like that. So that's able to be set here, and then a max per order. So obviously, you don't want somebody to take all of your early bird tickets um, if they're at a discount. So you can set the, the maximum number that a user can get. I'm going to leave that blank again. And then we see some registration um, settings here. So since I do have the registration modules on, particularly that basic registration, it's providing me with the pending, complete, and canceled states. So when users go and register, I'm going to just say that they're automatically complete. If we did have another ticket type that we wanted to make available, um, we could add that by just adding another ticket type. Yeah, and I'm going to set the date on that so that it will actually appear. And then I'm going to go ahead and just save my event. Once I save my event, we'll see that along with the regular node information that we had, we do have this ticket type field appearing. Um, so currently, it's showing me the free expo hall pass that I created and the paid conference pass, along with the ability to add quantities for both of those and register. That's not particularly helpful at this point because we're still not quite done setting up our tickets. We've only created our ticket types. If we go to the tickets tab that's now available on our event, we'll see a basic interface. It shows us each of the different types of passes that we have, the number of registrations, and whether they're available at this point. It also gives us the opportunity to view those registrations um, and to manage the fields that are available. Um, the fields that are available are particularly helpful because those are the fields that a user will be filling out when they go to register. Um, and it's particularly handy here because a user that, uh, that registers for something like the paid conference pass, you may want to gather different uh, fields of information um, than from users who go for the, the free expo. So if I click on Manage Fields, we can see that we've got the registration state, and that's provided by the Ticket Registration State module. Um, but we're free to add any other fields that we'd like. Um, so we can start collecting things like the, the registrant's name. So go ahead and add that as a text field. And we can do things like making these required. So it does completely integrate with Drupal's field system. Great, so now we have a couple fields here on our free Expo Hall Pass. Um, as we scroll down, one thing that you may notice is the copy user fields. That's available by the ticket user registration module. And this allows you, if you had a user profile, so in your user um, accounts within Drupal, if you added fields to your users for things such as you know name or um, phone numbers, contact info, 
really anything in the profile, you can copy those fields directly to this user, user registration. The user registration um, integration with Ticket will then detect that those fields have been copied and anytime a user goes to register for a ticket, it will actually copy in that information um, or copy that information to a new user. Um, and so if the user doesn't exist um, and they come in as an anonymous user to register for a ticket, it will automatically create them a user account and fill in that profile information. Since I'm done with the free Expo Hall Pass, um, I'm going to jump back here. Sorry, this is not a refined video. <laughs> um, doing this on the fly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and manage some fields for our paid pass. Um, and again, since this is the Drupal field system, I can simply copy the field that we created for the free pass. And I'm only going to do the name here. So now if I end up jumping back to my event, this all looks the same. However, if I go to register a quantity of tickets, so I'm going to do two of the free and one of the paid. When a user goes to register, we'll now see that we can register for two free tickets and for one paid. Other things that you'll notice here are the ticket registrant, and this again is provided by the ticket user uh, registration module. What this is doing is it's detecting the current user who's logged in. Um, that is the registrant or the person who is actually registering. Um, so it fills in my email address. If I was not logged in and I was an anonymous user, I would have the option to log in. And this will just associate all of these tickets with my account. However, because I'm buying multiples, obviously, they're not all for myself. Um, so I'm provided with a registered email address. And what this will do is it will check if there's a user in Drupal with that email address and associate this ticket with them. Um, if a user is not in the Drupal system, it will email that user to let them know, and then they can create an account and the ticket will be associated with them. Since I am the admin user, I am seeing the registration state. Um, obviously, if I was not, this would be hidden. You don't want your users to set their own states. So now that I've got this filled out, if I click register, we get a notice that it has created our two free expo passes and our paid conference pass. If we go into the ticket tab again from our event, we'll see that registrations has been updated and we have those two free ones and the one paid within the, the interface here. We can then drill down by clicking view registrations and we can see the user that registered the ticket along with the status and the date that it was created. And then we can further drill down and actually view that ticket. So we're viewing it here and we see that it is for, um, looks like it's for myself. So that's a basic overview of ticket. Um, as mentioned, we're not completely done with it. There are some additional features that we're, we're working on um, primarily the ability to see the tickets you're registered for as a user. 
Um, so this is all through the event admin interface. Um, so that's the main thing we're working on. Um, again, this is still an alpha. We're hoping to roll out a beta. Um, if you're interested in helping out with Ticket, um, drupal.org slash project slash ticket is where it's at. Um, feel free to make comments in the issue queues um, if there's features that you'd like to see or if you're encountering any issues. Um, but hopefully you, you appreciate and enjoy the use of Ticket um, and can help us improve that and uh, through Ticket hopefully help us improve COD as well. Thanks for watching.